Okay, this is a follow-up to my last video, and I think I understand now why, after raising the uh, transfers on the engine, I was able to achieve less RPM. This is, this is very critical on, on small engines. These are things that you won't notice on the larger engines, because they have more than enough, usually. So, uh, I was able to improve on the porting calculator and now it also incorporates a, a hump that represents the boost from the pipe. I've got two adjustment factors out here that you can change and this one out here adjusts the height of the basic porting horsepower graph and this one out here adjust the the percent increase of the um, the pipe boost down here is the same graph but it gives you the, the actual values of the power along the the rpm so using the revised calculator i was able to redo the graphs and charts for the three engine setups and try to figure out why the second porting did not at least get as much RPM as the first porting. On this graph you can see that at its top RPM it's got 7.1 horsepower. And this is the, the top RPM horsepower of the second graph, but if you look If you find a good website that gives horsepower for, for speed, I found one and I was able to make this graph from it, okay? Then I expanded on this part right here to make this graph right here. And I was able to take each 10 mile per hour section, I was able to figure out what degrees the the power increase needs to go through on the graph and for right at 30 miles per hour it's 8 degrees right at 40 miles per hour it's 14 degrees and 50 miles per hour it's 27 degrees these details are for my weight and and my motorized bicycle so It'll be a little bit different for a motorcycle. But I'm just applying this to this situation to figure, try to figure out why the second porting did what it did. So we're right around 40 miles per hour on this engine. So I'm going to use the 14 degrees as the necessary horsepower increase to keep increasing. Okay? Here's... The, the horsepower graph and down at the zero horsepower if you extend that over and then you draw the 14 degrees over toward intersects the uh, top rpm this is the the first uh, first porting engine and then analyze it using that using that angle analyze what horsepower is needed to be at 6.8 which is what the second achieved 6.8 thousand rpm so by doing that I was able to, to see that on the graph it's about 6.4 at, at 6.8 K rpm and at that same rpm for the the uh, second porting job it's right at the same okay but if you look that at that angle that 14 degrees is this is not that angle this is more like maybe nine degrees so this right here is more than adequate horsepower so it goes up in rpm up in rpm and it, and then the power needs to be keep going up like this to keep accelerating but it doesn't. You can see it just goes like this. It, it flattens out. 
the reason being that the um, that the the pipe power band is too high for the engine. I need to lengthen the header on the pipe to bring this where it starts over here. Okay, but for now. I like it where it's at, it looks good, so I'm not going to mess with it. So, then looking at the, um, so this explains why we've got, we, we topped out on the second porting at 6.8k RPM, okay? So now we've got the, the third porting, and this right here is the, the larger graph that gives the, uh, the details of what the horsepower is for each RPM section. In, instead of 6.4 horsepower at 6.8, this has 6.6 .6 horsepower. Okay, so you got more than enough. And so then the only question is whether or not this angle right here, let's say 6.4 is down here and 14. And an angle of 14 is about like that. It looks like if I can get past this section out right here, it will be able to accelerate on up. Okay, pretty high. So that's the question on the, on the, the third porting, whether or not that angle is, is uh, at least 14 degrees. So... I will find out soon enough. Probably tomorrow I'll be able to put it back together and ride it after getting the frame welded. So this is a cool aspect and now you can see when you really get into the details of motorcycles, it's pure engineering. It really is. I mean, you're getting your feet wet in the engineering world when you pay attention to some of these details and go down the rabbit hole. This is, is not the pipe that's on it right now, but I wanted to show you this. If you look right here, what you're looking at is a belly stinger that's not going up in the center of the, uh, the belly cone. There's a hole in the side of the, um, the belly and then this channel is welded to the outside of the pipe and then goes to the stinger pipe, which goes to the silencer, which is a special design I got from a friend in Russia. It's complex to build, but it works really good. This is the pipe I have on it now. It does have a, in the center, um, belly stinger. Okay, man. Thanks for watching.